Hello beautiful people, we're installing DaVinci Resolve 12.5, currently for the low low price of free, released by Blackmagic Design for Linux. And we're going to be installing it on Kubuntu, unsupported but it works just fine. You end up with this, so let's go ahead and extract it. I'm going to throw it in a folder, and let's call it Davin, for the sake of time. Does it take just a minute? Once that's done, we got to do a little bit of housekeeping. You'll end up with your SH and your README. So let's go ahead and open a terminal. First thing you want to do is make sure you have libssl dev and libgstreamer plugins base installed. I'm just doing this for the sake of example, since I already have them. Let's check this business out. That's done. Now we need to link libcrypto and libssl because this thing is expecting it to be on Red Hat Enterprise Linux or Let's see, that worked, and one more, or sent us, is what I was saying. Okay, once that's done, we need to run the sh. You need to be root to do this, so sudo, as much as you can get it as root. I'm just going to do star.sh, and it's going to decompress. It has a little error, but it doesn't affect anything, because it's looking for tar and where it would expect to find it, on rel. Okay, we're done. You can see on the desktop, DaVinci Resolve is there. Let's give it a try. When you first launch it, it is going to want you to take a tour, but then you'll be greeted with a quick setup guide. It's relatively straightforward. Now you'll see it's throwing a little bit of an error because we're running Kubuntu. It works. And it's saying my 980 might not be powerful enough, but I think otherwise. I typically do HD projects like this at 1080, at 60 frames. Media location, and this is why well, I just skipped through it, but if you're used to different video editors, pro video editors, industry standard, and all that fun stuff, you can select the keyboard mappings for that. But in a short second, a hot minute, we should have DaVinci up and running. Look at that. There it is. Oh, you're in for a world of learning. This is so far out of what I know how to do. I'm genuinely looking forward to learning about it, using it, and I want everyone else to do it because Blackmagic has done the Linux community a big solid by releasing this. And I'm really looking forward to everyone getting out there and making awesome things.